Hi, I'm Todd Salzman with WholeOutTheyLove.com. We have Mark filming this. Todd, what are we doing today? We're going to show how to take off an E61 brew group and then put it back on in case you have to replace yours for some reason. Uh, let's show you how to do it. In this case, we're using a Profitech Pro 500 as our demo machine. You need some tools? Yes, you do. Tools we'll need for this particular machine and most of them. 13 millimeter open end wrench, 21 millimeter open end wrench, and a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench for the Pro 500 and then a flat-headed screwdriver. Okay. Uh, first thing I like to do is take out the shower screen and group gasket, which we just pry out. And that's because on your new group, if you're putting in a new group, it's not going to come with one of those. Correct. Okay. okay. That's out. Make sure the machine is turned off and unplugged. I'm going to take the water reservoir out. Normally, you just dump this out. I'm just going to place it back here so we can use it when we're doing our pressure test. And we'll take the top off. This machine has four screws on top. Again, this is the Pro 500. Now, it's basically the same procedure when you get inside for taking the group out with almost any of these, uh, these style of Pro Super machines. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pull the top off. Okay. I'm gonna turn the machine so you can get a better view. A okay, better view. Okay, so what we have inside here, these two nuts come off to take off the brew group, or take the tubes off the brew group. These two nuts come off to remove the brew group from the machine. Mm -hmm. First thing I'll do, take my 21 meter, 21 millimeter open end wrench, and I'll just loosen these. Now there's gonna be some water in here, uh, because we had used the machine, so be prepared for that. So a little, little splash like that, that's perfectly yeah. normal and okay to be yeah. expected. Exactly, just make sure the machine's not hot. Yeah. Now a little tricky sometimes getting the wrench in on these, this bottom one, depending on the angle you're at. So sometimes this I was able to get it in there, but some, you have to turn, see how I'm flipping it like this? Sometimes, because okay. of the angle of the wrench, so sometimes you just a little bit, flip it over, like that. Yeah. That make, makes sense? Yeah, you okay. just gotta work at it okay, a little bit. Yeah, and we'll loosen that up. Didn't the bottom one, I know it's hard to see. Yeah. Excuse me, just let me get it here better. Okay. Then we'll loosen these. Loosen the first one, not all the way, just a little bit. Okay. And we'll get the other one. We want to do them kind of evenly because they put a lot of stress on the faceplate of the machine. Okay, now that's loose, then I'll take this one off all the way. Now you want to be careful not to drop these inside the machine. Got a Which couple is, washers. In yeah, there, like huh? I did earlier. But if it does, <laughs> just take the machine. You don't take the whole housing off. Just yeah. pull the back, or just tip the machine backwards, like this. And every, it, everything will come down to a corner. Exactly. Kind of okay. Yeah. So you got to work those washers off. Be careful not to lose them. There's yep. a flat washer and a lock washer. Right. Sure, a lock washer. Yep. And a flat washer. Come on, Grace. You can just you can get these. It takes a little bit of dexterity to get in there. And How do you like that hand, huh? Yeah, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. It's a working hand. <laughs> it's done a few jobs. <laughs> okay. Now, take your one hand, hold the brew group in place mm -hmm. while you're loosening this so the brew group doesn't fall off. So you're holding that around the front. Hold it from front. Because it could fall right off of there yep. while you get yeah. another screw That would be there. a bummer. Yeah. It would ding it up and dent your drip tray and be all bad, no good. Yep. Okay. okay, now we'll pull the group off, and it's off. Now the back of the group, we have a gasket here. So you want to pull that off. If it's an old machine, you, this may not be salvageable. Okay. If it's a new machine, you're replacing the brew group, it will be. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we're just going to repeat the, uh, reverse the process. Put that on, mm -hmm. your gasket. So this is installing the this new is one. So, oh yeah, this is a brand new group now. <laughs> That's the brand new. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it magic. Exactly. Put on a... And which, the flat washer first? The flat first. And the lock? And the lock. And, and you're, you're holding the group in front there, again, yep. so it doesn't fall exactly. down. Exactly. Now take this, Get snug it by hand. Don't need to crank that at that point. Mm -hmm. That'll hold the group in place. Flat washer. Lock washer. Mm -hmm. And nut. Yeah, I didn't drop it. Score. Okay, now I'll tighten these up. You want to hand tighten as far as you can 
keep it from having to do too much with the wrench. Now the, be careful here, you just want to take this, just snug it, then do the other side. Again, want to do it evenly, so you don't do any damage to the front of the machine, uh, the faceplate. And you don't have to snug the hell out of these things either, just or tighten the hell, just snug them up real good. Not okay. going yep. firm, but not, not crazy hard. Correct. Okay, now get the bottom one on first, line it up, and you should be able to turn it right in there. Come on, to push it a little bit. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way when I'm doing this so you can see. It doesn't work quite as smooth as if you just reach your hands in there. Okay, put my hand in there, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Usually goes a lot easier. Okay. Okay, so just hand tighten it out as far as you can, mm -hmm. which will make it easier to tighten later once you've got the wrench on it. And we'll put this one in there. Yeah, because you don't have a lot of room in there to work with a wrench, so the more you can get it on by hand, the exactly. less monkeying around okay. you gotta do here. And we'll goes up. Then I'll have to flip the wrench around to fit it on the bottom. Up. Mm -hmm. Flip the wrench. Grab grab the machine on the side. Snug it real good. Okay. So fa fairly tight on, on those. Yeah, we'll make not, those pretty tight. Not crazy, but again. Okay, but. again, hold the machine, tighten it up. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give this a pressure test. Just before to make you put the cover all back on. <laughs> exactly, before you put stuff. together and end up having a little leak on your counter, which you shouldn't because it goes together pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Put your reservoir in and we'll turn the machine on. And you notice I did not unplug it. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> okay, so now Go over here, we'll raise the lever up, we'll run some water through it. Mm -hmm. Take a bash flush disc into your handle. Put the handle on the machine. Oops. Gotta, gotta put your put gasket that back in. in there. Yep. So we'll get that in. This is the trick to set that gasket. Though. Yep, exactly. Take the gasket out. We'll take that off. Push it up in there. Then put your, your back flush disc or filter basket in. I'll we'll raise the lever up. And then we're going to look for look any in, leaks around. Look inside the... for any leaks right around in there. You hear the pump getting quiet now. Okay. She looks beautiful. No leaks. No leaks. Now, if you did have a leak. I'll turn it off. What would you do? Um, I'd probably tighten a little bit more. Just go a little harder yeah. on those. Yeah, they'll, they'll seal up. Okay. This, this is not something that's going to, you got it that far, it's not cross threaded. Yeah. So it will seal. And if something crazy happens and it doesn't, call me. Okay. We'll put the top back on, just like this. And just four screws and we're done? Yeah, four screws and I would put all four of them in loosely. And then when you get it all, all of them in there, everything lines up, just snug them down. Mm -hmm. And we'll be good to go. This is the best part of the video, isn't it? Yeah. Turning in the screws. Turning in screws. But hey, you replaced a group in under nine minutes. While having a hard time getting that bottom <laughs> nut in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And again, if something's a drop in the machine, just tilt it back and let it roll to one of the corners exactly. if you lose a washer. Tilt it back like this and then on the edge and it'll roll right back into the corner. All right. Okay, so that in summary is how to change the brew group on a Profitech Pro 500, but it's pretty much the same with any other E61 brew group. Okay, Todd, thanks for watching. Want to learn more? Subscribe now so you'll know about the latest videos on everything coffee from Whole Latte Love.